Drinking alcohol seems to be ingrained in our society. Whether it's grabbing a beer after work, having a glass of wine with dinner, or drinking with your friends. It can be hard to avoid these pressures. Having a few drinks isn't all doom and gloom, but how does this affect our ability to lose weight, build muscle, and our general fitness overall? That's today's video topic. Hey everyone, welcome to Science Based Fitness. My name is Adam, thanks for checking out the channel. Today's video we're discussing alcohol and how it affects our fitness. Now, I want to address this specifically in two areas. One, how does it affect our ability to lose weight? And two, how does it affect our ability to build muscle? So let's not waste your time, let's get right into this. Ideally, our body typically uses carbohydrates and fats as our main fuel sources. Now, when we start to add in alcohol, it can affect this process. When we consume enough alcohol, our body slows down this process called lipolysis, which is essentially converting fats into usable fuel sources for the body. Because of this, we'll start to store this energy instead of what we would normally be using. This process of slowing lipolysis is supported by the scientific literature and is sourced in my description as always. But in a study that looked at this process actually was able to conclude that alcohol inhibits lipolysis and alters tissue fuel selection. I think the concept of empty calories actually fits pretty well in this context. Now, when we alter our fuel source, we'll start storing what we are currently using and try to use up the actual calories that are inside of alcohol. Now, alcohol actually has, per each gram, seven calories of energy. Understanding this can put into perspective why we gain so much excess weight when we drink to excess. So let's move on to how this affects building our muscle. Maybe you're someone that's trying to bulk up or you're just not as concerned about fat reduction and building muscle is more important to you. Well, even from that aspect, how does alcohol affect that? When we exercise, we break down our muscle fibers. This is known as muscle protein breakdown. Protein aids in the repair process of our cells. And when we build more muscle, this is known as muscle protein synthesis. As long as our muscle protein synthesis is greater than our muscle protein breakdown, then we'll see muscle growth. Well, according to a 2014 study that looked at this, they were able to show reduced rates of muscle protein synthesis following a bout of concurrent exercise, even when co-ingested with protein. So even if you think you're gonna beat the system by drinking alcohol while ingesting protein, you're not gonna get around it. It's still shown to reduce the amount of muscle protein synthesis. Now, this data doesn't directly mean you can't build muscle, but it does reduce the amount of muscle protein synthesis seen. So basically everything I covered, alcohol is going to make you gain weight. It's going to make it harder to build muscle. So is it all doom and gloom? Well, not necessarily. Trying to break the cycle of alcohol being a habitual every night thing can be challenging. I've seen it personally with myself. Having one beer a night is easy to turn into two beers a night. Two beers a night is easy to turn into three. Most of us have probably dealt with this problem. Now what strategy did I use to help drink less? I simply told myself Monday through Thursday I wasn't going to have any alcohol. Doing something like that still allowed me to have that reward at the end of the week. Now I know we're all starting in a different place and I think it's important to remember if we start by reducing our calorie intake and if you're concerned with weight loss and you're, that's why you're watching this video, reducing our calorie intake is going to be essential and reducing it from these empty calories we find in alcohol will be a great strategy or tactic to start with. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Click the like and subscribe button. I make weekly content just like this. Hit that bell notification to make sure you stay up to date whenever a new video comes out. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you do have video ideas or have questions you want answered, leave them in the comments and if maybe one of them can be turned into a video idea, I will uh, try to address that. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.